Hey, good morning and welcome. Thank you for joining me. We're over here in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verse 18 through 20 this morning. Let's read it and come straight to it. And Zacharias said to the angel, How shall I know this? For I am an old man, and my wife is well advanced in years. And the angel answered and said to him, I am Gabriel, who stands in the presence of God, and was sent to speak to you and bring you these glad tidings. But behold, you will be mute and not be able to speak until the day these things take place, because you did not believe my words, which will be fulfilled in their own time. So right away, right off the bat here, uh, Zach Rice brings up the biological problems, you know, like my wife is really old, that's kind of like a biological problem, and I'm kind of old, how are we going to have a baby? These things don't inhibit God. God can intervene in any time or any way that, that is suitable, and so those aren't really a problem. It's interesting how we bring up uh, so many problems like, you know, what, the God who created the universe can't sort of work with this kind of a situation? God works out these things very intentionally so that he shows his power. He will show his power here by bringing a baby from a very aged couple. That's part of the point. So Gabriel is the angel who's speaking to him. And now, now Zacharias is going to have a part, a part in the whole gospel situation because he's going to come out of the temple here. We'll save that for tomorrow morning. But he is going to be mute. He's not going to be able to talk. And so this is going to be a sign. He himself gets to be a sign uh, on a temporary basis here, he won't be able to talk. His his muteness is going to be part of the uh, word that will go out that hey, God is doing something. Something kind of kind of unusual is happening over here in the temple. He gets to participate. You and I get to participate, and we should be participants in the gospel. Our lives should exude a, a faith in Jesus a happiness, a joy, when everybody is sad and lonely and stressed to the max and ready to pull out their hair and be crazy, you and I should be islands of peace and hope in a world that is so lacking in those features. Let's let's pray together. Father in heaven, thank you for uh, the way you intervene. Thank you that you're giving Zacharias here an opportunity to be sort of a symbolic representation uh, here of uh, the necessity of of backing off and trusting God. So help us, Lord, to, instead of bringing our reasons why you can't do something, help us to submit to you, Lord, and back off from those reasons and draw close to, to your heart. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So friend, hopefully we won't have to be uh, go mute for nine months or something, but, but if that's God's will, then uh, so be it. May it happen. But anyway, friend, may God bless you today and use you in his kingdom. Be an agent of, of hope and courage in a time of despair and, uh, and, and emptiness. God bless you today.